Hey everybody, this is Roman with Divine K9 NFTs, and I know a lot of my viewers have questions about the intro, and that's um, bells ringing uh, in Greece, and a lot of the monasteries where monks are, where they practice the habitual Jesus prayer, um, they they always wake up really early, and they have bells, and they and they hold a piece of wood. I don't know what it's called, and they smack a piece of wood with a hammer. And they it makes like they follow that beat where it's like um so that's what the bells are off of um i put that as the intro and the outro um and the way it sounds it almost sounds like to me why i like it so much it's like the bells are ringing the bells are ringing like the trumpets ringing like jesus is coming jesus is coming so like every day to kind of be prepared um and so that's why I like it. That's why I added the intro and outro um, bells from the churches that way. Um, so if you like it, uh, cool. It reminds me of the monks and how they're continually in prayer and they have divine liturgies every day and they're doing the best to reach Jesus Christ um, in their mind, heart, and soul every single day a lot better than we are just living in the world. So that's why I put that in there to have that as a steady reminder not only for you but also for me um so you can either fast forward that or you can enjoy it it's your call um but that is why it's there so let's jump right in um mark 14 the plot to kill jesus after two days it was a passover and the feast of unleavened bread and the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by trickery and put him to death but they said, Not during the feast, lest there be an uproar of the people. The anointing at Bethany, and being in Bethany at the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at the table, a woman came having an alabaster flask of very costly oil of spikenard. Oops. I'm sorry, guys. That is going to tell us what the spikenard was. Then she broke the flask and poured it on his head. But there were some who were indignant among themselves, and said, Why was this fragrant, fragrant oil wasted? For it might have been sold for more than three hundred denarii, and given to the poor. And they criticized her sharply. But Jesus said, Let her alone. Why do you trouble her? She has done a good work for me. For you have the poor with you always, and whenever you wish, you may do them good. But me, you do not have always. She has done what she could. She has come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Surely I say to you, wherever this gospel is preached in the whole world, what this woman has done will also be told as a memorial to her. Isn't that funny that Jesus knew even at this moment that the Bible would be preached among the whole world? Judas agrees to betray Jesus. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went to the chief priests to betray him to them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. So he sought how he might conveniently betray him. Jesus celebrates the Passover with his disciples. Now on the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go and prepare that you may eat the Passover? 
And he sent out two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you carrying a pitcher of water. Follow him. Wherever he goes in, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is the guest room in which I may eat the Passover of my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared. There make ready for us. So his disciples went out and came into the city, and found it just as he had said to them, and they prepared the Passover. In the evening he came with the twelve. The Passover is like a Jewish thing. Now as they sat and ate, Jesus said, Assuredly, I say to you, one of you who eats with me will betray me. Imagine betraying Jesus. And they began to be sorrowful, and to say to him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said to them, It is one of the twelve who dips with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goes just as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would have been good for that man if he had never been born. Yeah, I bet. Jesus institutes the Lord's Supper. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed, and broke it, and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many. So it's still covenant, just a new one. Surely I say to you, I would no longer drink of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus predicts Peter's denial. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will be made to stumble. Because of me this night, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I have been raised, I will go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even if all are made to stumble, yet I will not be. Jesus said to him, Surely I say to you that today, even this night, before the rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. But he spoke more vehemently, If I have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all said likewise. The Prayer in the Garden Then they came to a place which was named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. And he took Peter, James, and John with him, and he began to be troubled and deeply distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even to death. Stay here and watch. And went a little further and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible for you. Take this cup away from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but what you will. Then he came and found them sleeping, and said to Peter, Simon, are you sleeping? Could you not watch one hour? Watch and pray, lest you enter in a temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Again he went away and prayed and spoke the same words. And when he returned, he found them sleeping again, for their eyes were heavy, and they did not know what to answer him. Then he came the third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and resting? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is being betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. See, my betrayer is at hand. Betrayal and arrest in Gethsemane. And immediately while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, with the great multitude, with swords and clubs, came from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. Now his betrayer had given them a signal, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one, seize him, and lead him away safely. As soon as he had come, immediately he went up to him and said to him, Rabbi, Rabbi, and kissed him. Then they laid their hands on Jesus and took him. And one of those who stood by drew his sword and struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. Then Jesus answered and said to him, Have you come out as, a, as against a robber with swords and clubs to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and you did not seize me, but the scriptures must be fulfilled. Then they all forsook him and fled. The disciples fled. A young man flees naked. Now a certain young man followed him, having a linen cloth thrown around his naked body. And the young man laid hold of him, and he left the linen cloth and fled from there naked. Jesus faces the Sanhedrin. 
And they led Jesus away to the high priest, and with him were assembled all the chief priests, the elders, and the scribes. But Peter followed him at a distance, right into the courtyard of the high priest, and he sat with the servants and warmed him at the fire. Now the chief priest and all the council sought testimony against Jesus to put him to death, but found none. For many bore false witness against him, but their testimonies did not agree. Then some rose up and bore false witness against him, saying, We heard him say, I will destroy this temple made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. But not even then did their testimony agree. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Do you answer nothing? What is it these men testify against you? But he kept silent and answered nothing. Again, the high priest asked him, saying to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? Jesus said, I am, and you will see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand in power and coming with the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest tore his clothes and said, What further need do we have of witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him to be deserving of death. Then some began to spit on him, and to blindfold him, and to beat him, and to say to him, Prophesy! And the officers struck him with the palms of their hands. Peter denies Jesus and weeps. Now as Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the servant girls of the high priest came. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked at him and said, You also were with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are saying. And he went out on the porch, and a rooster crowed. And the servant girl saw him again, and began to say to those who stood by, This is one of them. But he denied it again. And a little later, those who stood by said to Peter again, Surely you are one of them, you are a, Gal a Galilean, and your speech shows it. Then he began to curse and swear, I do not know this man of whom you speak. A second time the rooster crowed, then Peter called to mind the word that Jesus had said to him. Before the ro rooster crows twice, you will deny me three times. And when he thought about it, he wept. We're all Peters, aren't we? Today's verse of the day. 1 John 4.18 There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear involves torment, but he who fears has not been made perfect in love. We have to love Jesus every single day so that we don't fear anything on this earth and a lot more, but that's what I think it means in this exact moment. As always, guys, um, we love doing our Bible reading because our NFTs have Bible verses in them. Um, and that's really what we're excited about as well. Um, as you can see, our divine canine right here has verse uh, Psalm 6 8, and you can go to Bible right here. Psalm 6 8. Oops, sorry. It says, Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity, for the Lord has heard the voice of my weeping. So, you get a dog that will remind you of God's word, and that's pretty cool in this new world of technology. Um, for only point one Solana. Let's see what Solana's price is. Um, Solana's at $85. So point one of 85 is, I don't know, $15 or so. And we also give a Bible away. And your name. So that's what we're doing here. And we also have our clothing line. We have our bucket hats. We have some book bags. You can get these in some different colors. Um, these I really like. I actually bought one for my brother and his wife. And I have this orange book bag. I use it every day for work just to kind of uh, bring around my notebooks and stuff. Um, and then there's a kids and adult icon wall splatter that is pretty new. We just put up uh, two days ago, three days ago. 
So I'm real excited about that. Can't wait. I ordered one. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Um, that's real exciting stuff, guys, as always. We appreciate y'all. And if you have any questions, um, just let us know. But we hope you enjoyed the reading. We hope you do something for the Lord today or tomorrow. And we hope you have a blessed night.